We are at the Totem Pole Park uh, outside of Foil, Oklahoma. What we have here is one of the great examples of folk art to be found in this part of the country. All done basically single-handedly by a man named Ed Galloway over a period of many, many years. The centerpiece is 90 feet tall, and they just spent uh, about five years uh, going around the top and repainting it in the original colors. In addition to that, it's like a little over an acre park with other things that Mr. Galloway did, plus this uh, museum and gift shop. It's been here in this form since 1948. A lot of people wonder because you look at the totem pole and you see the Native American chiefs at the very top. There's four of them, each, each facing a different direction. And as nearly as we can tell, Mr. Galloway wasn't Native American at all. He was German. He just built it because he wanted to build it and wanted to have the tribute to the, the Native Americans around this part of the country. I love stories about people who do something just because they want to. And that's what he did, yeah. He would go down with a wheelbarrow down to the lake, or down, I'm sorry, down to the river, buy it, pick up water and mix sand and water and mix a wheelbarrow full of concrete and build it. And then he'd go back and get another one. It was that laborious. When he was indoors, he would carve fiddles and stuff, which you see back in the back here. He, he, so he was just always making things. I come, I come here a dozen times a year, maybe. There's always, Casey, always somebody here speaking a foreign language. Thousands of people visit it every year. Uh, more people, I think, are finding out about it, especially since the Rogers County Historical Society has uh, refurbished it. There was a time when it was very neglected and, and, and in really bad shape. It had been vandalized, um, all the stuff had been stolen. Uh, there, it was just in terrible shape, and now, look, it's beautiful now. This place is unique. There's not another place like this with the totem pole, with the gift shop, with all of the stuff that Mr. Galloway did, basically single-handedly. There's not another place like this that I know of anywhere.